Any questions, we'd be happy to take them. Can you uh, expand a little bit more about the, the sanitizing, what, what you think or any of you might think is the reason for not having all these released? Well, first of all, we don't know. I'm sorry, what, I think I we don't know why they haven't been released. It's really baffling to us. To this day, we don't know all the contractors that worked on the largest construction project uh, in Suffolk County at this current time. It, it, it's really, it, it baffles us. And it certainly raises suspicions that this, there's a rationale for not releasing those records. Uh, and, and to speculate uh, on whether they're being sanitized or to speculate that there's something wrong, we just don't know. But we, we certainly can't figure out why the records aren't being released. And to go to the extreme of, of attempting to discharge the chairman of that state agency um, is, uh, is really baffling. The county executive has released a kind of a lengthy response, knowing that you were having a press conference today, saying we, we released you know 100 pages this time, 100 another page this time. Is your position that that's just not still not the whole thing, and it's not you know what's your well, response to him? Well, response? first of all, I don't care how long it is. It isn't the records don't belong to the county. The decision was made four years ago that. The agency that would build this facility was the Judicial Facilities Agency. Doesn't it go without saying that they should have the records if they're the agency build, build, uh, building the facility? And financing it. And financing. What's your reaction to the firing, or the Levy's letter firing uh, JFA Chairman Martin Cantor? My reaction is that I'm um, um, dismayed at the, uh, sorry, excuse me. My reaction is that I'm dismayed and disappointed uh, because Mr. Cantor was insistent uh, that all the records of his agency be returned to his agency. I don't think that that's an unreasonable request, and I think that precipitated his firing. There are some legal questions if the firing is in fact uh, correct. I think he has an opportunity as someone that uh, in, is in a state agency that is being fired by the county executive that he has a right to answer charges that would be brought against him. I think he has 10 days to respond. Uh, so I don't know if that firing is immediate. Um, certainly, uh, the way the law is constructed, um, he stays as a holder until a new appointment is made, and I think there's certain legal requirements that have to be met. So as far as I know, Mr. Camper is still a member of the JFA, and we'll continue that until the legal process is expended. But I'm, I'm disappointed that it would bring that type of reaction from our county executive, who has stressed in the past his desire to promote transparency and openness in government. Now, there had been a possibility of including in this law a requirement that a list of the records be posted on the county website. That's not, you're not going to do that? Oh, uh, that, that is something that uh, we could certainly amend the legislation. We just wanted to file it by the deadline, okay. which is at uh, 1 o'clock today. We certainly can add that uh, request that well, re records be listed. Well, I, I think if the records get turned over to the JFA, the that will become their responsibility. Okay. And uh, I, I believe, and I don't mean to speak for them, that they will comply with making the records available. And do you know if the JFA has received any records to date? Uh, Michael Cavanaugh is standing next to you. He's a member of the JFA. Michael, have we received him? Can you just give your name and spell it? Uh, Michael Cavanaugh, member of the JFA. C A B A N A P H. Uh, I haven't been notified that we have received any records. Uh, I have un understand that we did receive some records from uh, the vice chairman, uh, Michael Dunning, who did receive some records uh, yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yesterday. But not the complete set. But not the complete set. So he got some from the county, not some he already And these, these are records that were requested in, in November.
Anything else? What do you think about uh, leaving holding a press conference at 11 o'clock, the same time that you guys announced the press conference? And now, what do you think? Any comment about that? Coincidental? <laughs> I don't know what the subject of the press conference okay. is. Wi Fi is something. I'm sure it was coincidence. And compelling. <laughs> <laughs>